Hello everyone and welcome to ACAD Guild. In this video, we'll see some interesting topic in the advanced filters. Now, what is the topic here? How to find out unique values in the column in Excel. Okay, very, very interesting topic. Many people face an issue if they want to find out the unique values in the column. Okay, let's see an example here. I have a database with five different columns, employee name, date of hire, employment status, position and pay. Now in this employment status, there are different types of employment status like active, voluntary terminated. And then if I scroll down, that's a leave of absence. And if I scroll down, I can show you something here, terminated for cause and so on. But I don't have the proper answer, like how many are the unique values and what are those, right? What people do is usually they put a filter using the shortcut key, control shift L, click on this drop down. And this is how they find out there are one, two, three, four, five, five unique records or five unique values in the column, right? This is the process what people follow daily. Now I'll give you a shortcut method by which what you can do is you can find out the unique records in this column, in this column and in this column, and then you can paste it wherever you need it, right? Let us see those. So first I'll remove the filter by going to data tab and click on this filter button or I can use control shift L key to remove the filter option. Now, this is possible using this advanced filter option, finding unique records. So understand this will be your source data. That means employment status column would be your source data and this would be your destination. Okay, no criteria. Okay, this would be your column as source and this would be your destination. So first of all, keep your cursor anywhere in the data go to data tab and select the option as advanced. Once you click on this advanced, you see the first thing is by default, it will select the entire data here. You see the dancing ants, entire data would be selected now. But my criteria is not the entire data. My criteria is the employment status column. So select that column, how to select it, keep your cursor in cell number C3. And if you want to go to the last cell, selecting everything, press control shift down arrow key. Okay. Once again, how did I select it? My cursor was in the first cell. If I want to select and go to the last place, press control shift down arrow key. So entire column is selected. Perfect. Now copy to another location. There is no criteria. Okay. There's no criteria. Simply you have to copy to some location, but now carefully observe. I'll give you some shortcut method. My cursor is right now or my screen is right now in row number 212. Okay, row number 212. If I want to go back to the first page or I can say as first few records, how do I go back? I have this dialog box open and how do I go back to the first place? Press control backspace. If you press control backspace in the in the in this dialog box, nothing will happen, but your screen would be shifted on the top. Okay, your screen would be shifted on the top, right? Control backspace was the key. And the next one is copy to another location. I'll select this location here, right? And see this checkbox unique records only, right? This is the main keyword here, unique records only. Click on OK. So you see, I'm getting unique records in the employment status column, right? Once again, let us try again. Now this time I want to find out unique positions which are present in this column. Okay, so what is the method? Keep your cursor anywhere in the data. Go to data tab and click on this advanced button. Now the source should be position column. Right now the employment status column is selected. So I'll put a backspace. Keep my cursor in cell number D3. If you want to select the entire column and reach at the bottom, press control shift down arrow key. Okay, you see the entire column is selected. Now select the second option copy to another location but now g3 is already occupied so i'll put a backspace and i'll click on this i3 cell number okay cell number i3 make sure you select this unique records only okay it is the simplest method of finding the unique records in that entire column itself right that's the best method now simply click on okay now there are only three positions inside the position column here okay uh, production technician one, production manager and production technician two. 
if you want to cross verify keep your cursor in the data data tab filter option click on this drop down and you see there are there are only three positions which are available here right so it's very fast and easy method to find out the unique records in the database right and it is possible using the advanced conditional formatting right so i hope you have understood how to find out the unique values in the column in excel and that's all for this video